everyone and welcome back to Comprehend. In this video I'm going to be discussing with you a new TV show that's become increasingly popular in the last few years. It's my intention to help you better understand what the show is about and I'm also going to explain a few of the characters just in case you were thinking about watching this TV show. This is to help you better understand what you might be getting into. I would like to take a moment and clarify that I will attempt to make this as spoiler free as I possibly can so that if you do choose to watch it you can still enjoy the show but there will be some spoilers in this explanation because I do have to tell you what the show is about. With all that in mind, let's jump right in. The TV series we're discussing is called Vikings. Vikings is a historical drama series that focuses on, not surprisingly, Vikings. But it focuses on one Viking in particular named Ragnar Lofbrok. This story takes place in the late 8th and early 9th century in a place called Kattegat which is in present-day Denmark. Ragnar is a farmer and family man within this community, but this community relies less on their own means of production and more on raiding their neighbors and taking all of their valuables. Kattegat is under the control of an earl named Earl Haraldsson. All the men within the Viking community in Kattegat owe their allegiance to the earl, and it is the earl's responsibility to decide where these Viking men are going to raid each year. Every year, Earl Haraldsson has been sending his men to the east, into Russian territory. But they've raided these areas so many times that there's no valuables left to plunder. A frustrated Ragnar finds the technology to sail across a vast sea, and with a few men who agree with his ideas, they sail west and raid what is an unexpecting Britain. The story develops to have a lot of drama, a lot of fighting, and a fair amount of adult content as well. This series also jumps several years between seasons, so it allows you an opportunity to see the characters grow older, smarter, and some of them even stronger. With all this in mind, let's discuss a few characters that you will encounter early on in the series. The first character is Ragnar Lothbrok. Ragnar is a character played by actor Travis Fimmel. He carries all aspects of a typical Viking man with one extra attribute that allows him to stand out above all others, and that is intelligence. Ragnar is a very innovative character. He's willing to take risks for high rewards, and physically he is smaller than most Vikings, but that allows him to be much faster, and he uses that to his advantage while fighting. He's also portrayed as a man who's not afraid to stand up for what he believes in, which gets him in trouble just as often as it gets him rewards. The second character is Lagertha Lothbrok, played by Catherine Winnick. Lagertha is Ragnar Lothbrok's wife and is the mother of his two children, Björn and Gida. Lagertha is a shield maiden, which in Viking culture is a woman who fights alongside men in battle. This with her strong-willed personality allows her to be an incredibly strong female character in the series. Two things to note with Lagertha is that she is an excellent mother and an excellent fighter but she is also not afraid to challenge or contradict Ragnar in his decision making, which is a quality he really likes about her. The next character is Rolo Lothbrok. Rolo is played by Clive Strandon and is Ragnar Lothbrok's brother. Rolo is a good fighter, a great raider, and a good character for the series, but he struggles because he envies the recognition his brother gets for his achievements and doesn't get much recognition for himself. He also envies Ragnar for having a strong and beautiful wife like Lagertha, something that he has never had. It's difficult throughout the series to determine where Rolo's loyalties lie because he does love his brother and he wants to be loyal to his brother, but he also wants to be loyal to himself and make sure that he's getting the glory and reward that he believes he deserves. And the last character I'm going to explain to you is Floki. Floki is Ragnar's friend and he is a boat builder. Specifically, he builds the boats that Ragnar uses to cross the sea and raid Britain. Floki is an eccentric character, but he is a good fighter and he is passionately devoted to the Norse gods and the mythology therein. But those are all the characters I'm willing to discuss with you guys. You meet a few new ones here and there throughout the series, and some of these characters are just around for a few episodes, some of them are around for a few seasons. I don't want to give away which is which. But all things considered, it is a pretty good series, and they have four seasons out as of right now, so there is plenty to see. But that's all I have for this video. This has been an explanation 
explanation of the TV show Vikings. If you like what you saw in this video, please hit the like button. And if you like my channel, please subscribe to it. I put out new videos every Wednesday. If you have any critiques for the channel, or if there is anything you would like to see from me, please put it in the comments section. I do read them, and it allows me to create better content for you. But until next time, it has been a pleasure, and I'll see you next week.